Hi, I'm Kristen Odlin from Post Media here with Wes Gilbertson after a 3-2 overtime Flames win at the Scotiabank Saddledome over the Nashville Predators. Uh, it didn't always look that way. Johnny Goudreau had two goals right at the beginning of the game uh, and the Flames kind of rode that right until uh, the third period when Nashville finally decided to show up. Yeah, another really, I guess, exceptional performance from Johnny Gaudreau, but uh, unfortunately had to work a little bit of overtime for it. So uh, a couple of really nice goals in the 10-second span in the first. Uh, Flames looked pretty good for most of the night, just a couple of mistakes to let Nashville back into it. But again, Gaudreau, a great setup. Uh, Michael Backlund with the game winner. So everyone goes home happy. And with his two goals tonight and assist, he moved into the NHL's leader in home points, passing Patrick Kane. So it was a really nice night for Johnny Goudreau. He loves playing at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. He likes the fans. He likes the city. He likes that the way that they react um, and just enjoys playing here. And it shows in his points. Yeah, it's pretty wild to look and see his name now above Patrick Kane, just above Sidney Crosby, you know, more points at home than anyone in the league. So um, he keeps telling us he likes playing here and keeps proving it as well. Two key losses for the Flames tonight. Uh, Sam Bennett left in the second period with an upper body injury as well as defenseman TJ Brody. Uh, he was hit by a cross check and, and didn't play for the third period. He had one shift in the third period um, and it was out for an upper body injury. So not a great sign to see those two out. Obviously uh, Derek England um, was out with an upper body injury tonight, a lower body injury tonight um, in his day to day and they already have uh, Tyler Witherspoon up on emergency recall from Stockton. So uh, seeing TJ TJ Brody go down wasn't a great sign. No, I mean, if this was a playoff race, I think Calgary would be in a panic without TJ Brody. But, um, you know, Bob Hartley said after the game he doesn't think it's too serious on either, maybe a few days. So we'll probably find out more Thursday.